Hello, my name is Dennis Franks, and I've been an unfranchised owner going on 27 years. It has been an exciting adventure. And my background currently, I'm also a sales executive for a distribution and internet marketing company. You may know it, Market America. My story begins going to the University of Michigan and studying economics. Uh, my hope was one day to be in business. Uh, I also was gifted a athletic scholarship where I played football uh, for the University of Michigan. In fact, the team of the decade back in the 70s. However, after sports in college, I went on to play in the National Football League, four years with the Philadelphia Eagles and finishing my career, uh, my fifth year with the Detroit Lions. Uh, both wonderful parts of my life and something that most kids just dream about to be able to hit the paragon of their sports career. But then life started at the ripe old age of 29. I had to put to work my degree and before you know it, uh, I couldn't find a job. I didn't have any experience and that was rather interesting to me. And so I had to start at the bottom. And after having success in professional sports, going back to square zero, no, make that below zero, uh, it was really hard to get along and I had my challenges. I finally found my love and that was in helping people lose weight only because of my own personal experience. After football I was approaching 300 pounds and I lost 65 pounds and my life changed. And it was also my direction, my calling began. Now you should know during that time and losing the weight, I spent 10 years in network marketing. I was very good at multi-level marketing. And uh, basically I was making a transition out to traditional business, moving into franchising and working in the construction industry. Aerial platforms, if you know what they are, lifting people up into the air. Anyway, in the process, um, everything was going well. In fact, uh, I was at a point of my life where it was starting to really work. However, with traditional businesses, they have swings and our traditional franchises started to need more income. So I went back into network marketing and it was quite a successful journey. But during the process, I was called by a gentleman by the name of J.R. Reininger. Uh, you may know him as the founder of Market America. And he got my name through a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend and my phone number got circulated all the way back to him as he was asking for individuals that had experience in network marketing. Well, he called me and he told me what he was doing and I politely said, no, I'm not interested. Well, he called me again and again and again and primarily I said no again, again and again until finally I basically said, okay, I'll meet you. And I said to my wife, I said, honey, I'm gonna meet J.R. Reininger in person and maybe he can read my lips and understand I'm saying no to him. Ironically enough, I met him in New Jersey, Ocean City, New Jersey, and he began to explain what he was doing. And he didn't try to recruit me into anything. He was trying to tell me about the purpose of his mission with Market America, and that was to basically change an industry so that an average person could be successful. And when he meant average, he meant average people with an above average desire to accomplish something. The, the ones that get sick and tired of being sick and tired and are ready to do something. And he was explaining to me, with my background in multi-level marketing, how things weren't put together for people to succeed. Actually, they were put together based on what average people couldn't succeed. So before you know it, everything made sense to me. And he was explaining to me this new concept of binomial marketing, building organizations to reach a six-figure income and getting into that top 5% of the income earners that are financially fit by just building two sales organizations, really just helping two people. Well, based on my experience in the last 10 years and my success, I basically understood exactly where he was going and it was interesting to me and I asked him for his information. Now the company was so young, he tore off the piece of paper, he said, here it is. So I went home and we talked about it and I decided uh, with my wife, Nancy, to become an unfranchised owner. We were called Market America Distributors then. This is back in 1992. Now, granted, we didn't have a lot to sell, but I was very successful in selling what we did have. I won't go through what we offered, but at the time, it was enough to get more people into the business, and I did have success. In fact, I remember 
JR, you know, giving me some direction and then I tell him, okay, buddy, I'm gonna go out and make it happen. And basically I invited him to do a meeting and we had nearly 500 people there. Well, over the first six months, I started to build Market America's Unfranchised the wrong way as a multi-level marketing company. And while I had short-term success, I hit a roadblock and nearly left the business. And I'll tell you what I did. After about six months and bringing in a large organization, I went back to JR and I said, JR, this probably isn't right for me. And um, it's just not working. And he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me come up there and, and I want you to get together everybody you can so I can teach you. You know, Dennis, you sort of just asked for your freedom on this, but the bottom line is you didn't know how to build an unfranchised business. And he was right. So he came up and he began to teach the nine people, including myself, um, what is called today the basic five. And we had a big decision whether or not we were going to stay with the company or move to another one and another network marketing, I will say, program. Well, the decision was to stay. Uh, JR, with his conviction, his mission, everything that he said from the very beginning, he followed through with, but what I was most impressed was finally I saw the system that he was talking about that I didn't let him tell me because I knew everything and that's one of the big problems with people today. They know everything, um, but they don't know anything and that's the big problem about succeeding in owning your own business no matter what it is. Well, bottom line was I started to grow and grow. And I'll never forget, in that whole process, there were stumbling blocks along the way, but everything was worth it. In the first 60 months, the first five years, reaching a level that we call director, and that's where you exceed $18,000 in a four-week pay cycle. Everything started to go really smooth, and it was really focused on helping people create success. I often call it creating success stories. That's the secret of growing in the business. And that's where we focused. We grew by creating success stories within the organization. Granted, you only had to focus on a left and a right, and I think anybody can figure out left and right. It wasn't about sponsoring lots of people, it was basically putting in business owners and teaching them what to do so they could succeed too. Well, before you know it, it went from director to executive director. Now, you don't really know what that means, but that basically means I've exceeded $25,000 in a four-week pay cycle. Now, that's really a lot of money when you think about working from your home, having very little uh, overhead, uh, having the company ship your products for you, giving you an internet presence, all that good stuff. So I s remained focusing on creating more success stories. And lo and behold, it went on and went on and became what they call field vice president, exceeding $36,000 in a four week pay cycle. Now, the story continues. I've been in this business now 27 years and the number of success stories have been phenomenal that we've created. Whether it be in California, where I started the business in the Philadelphia, New Jersey, uh, Delaware areas, when I start thinking about the Kevin Buckmans of the world, when I start thinking about the Penny Lafferty's of the world, I start thinking about the people, Pete Cantoni's of the world, that have led me to other great people in New York and upstate New York where great organizations have been built. It seemed like great people found each other and we had a common goal and that goal was basically creating success stories through this amazing pay plan we call the management performance compensation plan but i have to tell you the success was not a straight line to the top in fact it took months and years to make it happen but then again far less than the 45 year plan that so many of us has charted and so many of us have already accomplished and you're starting over. Well, I can tell you what, not only did this program help my wife and I and our children get into the top 5% earners of this country, it moved us into the top 1% earners of this country. But I'll tell you where I'm very excited about the future and why you should consider this business. But we have more than just the business. We have a mission to convert spending into earning. We want to change the way people shop and we want to create the economy of the future and we have the tool called shopping annuity and the shopping annuity is something that's going to revolutionize the way people shop online we also have the right tools in line 
when we talk about shop.com, a marvelous shop site for our unfranchised owners and our customers. Really a place where they can count on converting spending into earning. But we also have the tracking system, the pay plan to match. And when they say tracking system, it's not within your community. It's within the country and the countries we do business in. But I love this business because we have direction. We have commitment. And the owners of this company have been together some 27 years. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't happen like that. This business has changed tens of thousands of lives. Now, you may believe me, you may not believe me, but the only real way for you to find out is dig deeper in who we are. And I'm not talking about just what's being said on the internet. There's a lot of good things out there. I'm talking about, for your example, try some of these great products that they offer because how is it that this company could experience 92 consecutive quarters of growth? Think about that without selling products to end consumers, ongoing products to end consumers because they're good and because people are earning income. Now here's the real question. Are you entrepreneurial? Do you believe that people will continue to shop online? Do you believe that mobile technology will be driving the future and your life? And wouldn't you like to monetize or cash in on all that transition to online shopping? Mark in America through shop.com offers that opportunity to you. Don't believe me? Do your homework, experience the products, learn how our business works. And I don't have the bottom line answer for you, but I will say this, if you're watching this video, then believe me, it's real. You don't have to worry about how this doesn't work. You just have to worry about will you work for yourself? And I say you can if you're ready to make a difference in your life. Thank you for spending this time. My name's Dennis Franks, and I'm excited because I'm a Market America unfranchise owner, and I know where we're going.